low and low and low. You are tuning into the episode of The Wonder Kin Show. Today's first topic this game for the Chiefs versus the Ravens might be a Derrick Henry masterclass. Look. Y'all know that when I talk, I like everything to be in context. Right? A lot of times you could say something and without the proper context, you're looking at the person sideways like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that's what happens when you're talking. You have to have proper context to everything that you say. And the context to me saying what I just said that Derrick Henry might actually put on an absolute masterclass this game is simply because since he's played the Chiefs, he's been dominating them nonstop. <laughs> That's why. Let me bring this up to you real quick, right? So, the Minkard, uh, if y'all know who the Minkard is, that's why I call Ryan Mink, because I don't really flex with him. You feel what I'm trying to say? Because I don't, I don't like flip floppies. You feel what I'm trying to say? But he like one of them flip floppies, stab you in the back and smile your face like this. Who stabbed you? It sure wasn't me. So I don't flex with him like that. But he did put this out. And he said, uh, Derrick Henry career versus the Chiefs. Four games, 447 rushing yards. That's the most he's posted against any one team outside of the AFC South. That means the only team that he's done better than that in a four-game stretch is against, like, the Jaguars, the Texans, the Indianapolis Colts. Outside of that, the Chiefs have been getting that work. And when adding in the postseason, this is another text that he did, another tweet, Henry has faced the Chiefs in six games and rushed for 672 yards and eight touchdowns. Remember, it was four regular season. If you add on the playoffs, yeah. So he's a walking 100-yard two touchdown, you know, or a touchdown and a half type of guy going against the Chiefs. Here's why I said this could be a master class. One, the Ravens always overcompensate for what they do bad. Usually. Context to that is they don't do that um, with the wide receiver room. They don't do that with the offense. But most of the other stuff, they, they, they overcorrect, right? We've seen it. If you're a real Raven fan, you know it. When they make a mistake or something, usually they overcorrect it on the next time, right? So they're going to run the ball. And I'm not just talking about run the ball. They're going to try to bludgeon the Chiefs with that ball. They're going to be like, take it, take it. They're like, oh, 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 oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, try to stick it down their throat. Pause. You know what I'm saying? And with Derrick Henry in the backfield with Lamar, How much more crazy is it going to look when it's time for him to get the ball? Because now, with the Chiefs would play the the Tennessee Titans, they would all be at the line of scrimmage. They're like, bro, we all trying to kill you at this point, bro. Like, they're trying to come downhill to knock his head off because everybody knows the only way to slow down or much less stop Derrick Henry is to stop him before he gets ahead of steam. If he gets ahead of steam, good luck because you can't arm tackle him. So he over bust through that little sliver about this big. And then you're looking at it like, no, because he's going to listen. Imagine being a quarterback and you're like, all right, all right, my line going to get him. And he busts through the line. Like, huh. And then you're, 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 you're uh, what's it called? Your linebacker overcommitted. So he's been washed down. So now it's you to make the tackle. So you're like, no. <laughs> Yo, and we've seen it. Stiff arm people out of bounds, stiff arm them into the ground, throw them, just absolutely manhandle guys. Now imagine that with a team that has Lamar Jackson and not to mention Patrick Ricard. And they just got beat for not running the ball. I think this is going to, Derrick Henry can go for 150 this game. I can see Derrick Henry going for 170 this game. I can see Derrick Henry going for a buck 70, two touchdowns. 
maybe three. G. I can I can legit see it. Legit. So, and mind you, mind you, it's not like the Chiefs, just like us, we're, we're trying to, going to be working through the offensive line. Hollywood's not playing, so it, I don't think it's going to be this high-scoring game. This could be one of those games where it's, you know, I don't know, I want to say 24 to 20. You know what I'm saying? 24 to 20, something like that, 27 you know, 27, 24, I can see it like that. I don't think there's going to be no 30-plus points, 40-plus point game. Straight up. But I don't see them being able to stop Henry. And Henry looks like he was born to be a Raven. If you ever have someone just encapsulate everything that something is supposed to represent, Derek Henry, just like Roquan. Like Roquan, you're like, oh, my God, he's a Raven. The way he talks, the way he does. The way he walks, the way he carries himself, the way he, he, the way he competes. That's Raven mentality. Like, you don't got to teach that. That's like, yo, he's it's, it's, it's him, right? That's how it is with Derrick Henry. So he's coming in like he wants to punch them in their face. I think, he wa- I think the Ravens want to deliver a message, which the Chiefs are the team to beat, but I think the Ravens are, even though, you know, they're all going to say it's just another game, I think they're like, we want to send a message. Because at the end of the day, I think they're looking at it saying, we gave that game away. I don't think there's no Raven player that walked in and said that we didn't give that game away. They're all not like, bro, we gave that game away. I don't know what, man, we should have been in the Super Bowl. It should have been the 49ers versus the Ravens rematch. But we hiccuped. We blinked. We flinched. So... Last year is over. This year starts. But I'm, listen, like I told you before, Derrick Henry can legit have 1,500 rushing yards this season. Do not be surprised if Derrick Henry leads the league in rushing, in rushing yards this season. Do not be surprised. And don't be surprised if he leads them in rushing touchdowns also. Because when they get to that 10-yard that line, anything within the five is Derrick Henry time. Bring out record. <laughs> oh, you ever watched the? Uh, I forgot what it was called. Oh my god, I forgot that movie. But remember, he was just like, "Release the Kraken, release the Henry." <laughs> That's what it's gonna be. Pa- Patrick Ricard and Derrick Henry is going to move in mountains in that end zone because when it gets to that five yard line and in. It's going to be cookies. It's going to be cookies. I'm trying to wonder, because mind you, forget even stopping Derek. You got to slam and try to stop Patrick Ricard. He's taking out at least one of your guys, maybe two. Now you got to worry about Derek. And Derek can jump cut. We've seen him do it. Jump cut and go to the outside, easy walking touchdown. So that's what I'm trying. And we're not even factoring in the Lamar Jackson effect. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, look, Derek Henry can legit have 15 and 15. The 15-15 season. 1,500 yards rushing, 15 touchdowns. Maybe 17 total. Because he might have one or two receiving touchdowns too. Because they're going to overcompensate on some of these games to slow down a Zay or a Mark or an Isaiah or a Lamar. And he is going to be able to take one to the house. And we already seen once Henry gets going, he's a locomotive. Good luck standing in front of him. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I just I just have a great feeling that He's going to have a big game this game, and I think that the Ravens are going to walk out with a very easy win um, led by the charge of Derrick Henry's 152 two-touchdown rushing performance. And I could see Lamar adding an additional 70 yards on that number. So, I mean, the Ravens this game legit could rush. I think they're going to pass for about 230, but I think that they're going to rush for about 210 to 250. Honestly, I really believe that. But what do you guys think? Do you think Henry's going to go off in his first game? Do you think with how well he's played against the Chiefs, he's going to continue it on Thursday? Let me know what you think down in the comment section, please. You know what I'm saying? But as always, (gasps) 
next episode of the Wonder Kind Show. Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh, but everything we talk about rooted really in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You know I love the comments. And if you've not done so already, check out the Wonder Kind Show's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content goodness when you your consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR code to a cash app. Cash is located in the description of every video that we do. Name of it is Money Sign. The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. But once again, the Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nectar, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. <gasps> Peace. And I am out of here. Huh? Yeah. Finish him, Daddy. Oh, oh.